Back to another video. This is code for this round 9093. We're going to solve the fifth problem that is Q sort. So let's understand this with the help of an example. And first, let's try to understand the question. So Vlad has an array of n integers. His end goal is he needs to sort it in non-decreasing order. So to do this, Vlad can perform the following operations any number of times. So here we have two operations, right? If we take, if we perform an operation, these two actions should be performed. It's not like only one of them can be performed. It's like both of them should be performed. So what did they say? Extract the first element of the array and insert at the end. After that, swap that element with the previous one until it becomes first or until it becomes strictly greater than the previous one. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So what does it mean? So you have 4, 3, 1, 2, 6, 4 as an example array. Now, first let's check, is it non-decreasing or not? Is it non-decreasing? It's not non-decreasing, right? It is in decreasing format. So what do we do? We take the first element like what they told here and put it at the last, okay? Insert at the end. Then swap that element with the previous one until it becomes the first. Swap this element to the previous one until it becomes the first number or until it becomes strictly greater than the previous one. This is the previous number. So four is uh, this four is greater than uh, sorry this four is greater than this four no so you swap it this four is greater than six no you swap it again four is greater than two it is uh, there so one operation is complete now now let's check whether it's non decreasing or not it is not non decreasing so they gave only till here but we can go again let's take this three and come here start take the starting element put it at the end check whether the previous element uh, is strictly uh, this number is strictly greater than the previous one no right you swap here you again swap here again you swap here so what happened uh, you can say that this two right this two is uh, less than this three so three gets static here is this non decreasing no right so you take the next number and push it here after pushing it you have to keep swapping it until this number is less than the this number so you go here you go here 3 is greater than 1 not possible 2 is greater than 1 not possible 1 again will come here so what happened we took 1 we kept on swapping it it is not getting arranged to a position it is coming back if you want to arrange it this 4 should somehow go to 6 to that as like so to make it that happen this 6 should be at the start and push it to the end that is not possible who is not making us to follow that because this one when you take this one and put it at the end, it will go to the starting number only. So we understood like what is happening here is uh, any number that is the minimum number in the array. Whenever you take, whenever that uh, the chance of that number comes and if you perform the operation, it will go back to the original position only. It will go back to its uh, starting position. So uh, from this, we understand that. If it goes to the starting position, we cannot do anything from here. We just can check whether uh, these numbers, these numbers are sorted or not. If these numbers are sorted, then we can definitely say that the number of operations are the number of operations that are before the minimum element. So let's see the example that is given in the question so that we'll get more idea. Let's take this example, 6, 4, 1, 2, 5. 6, 4, 1, 2, and 5. This is clearly descending order. It is not non-descending. So what do we do? So in the first operation, I take this number that is six. So six is pushed to the start here and uh, five is less than six. So it is at the right position. Let's go to operation two. It is non-decreasing. It is not non-decreasing. So what do we do? We take this number four and put it at the last. Then what do we do? We just check with the previous element. Four is uh, six is greater than four. So you need to swap it. Five is greater than four. You need to swap it. 2 is uh, greater than 4? No. So it got the position. Now we check whether it's non decreasing or not. It is non decreasing, right? Because 1 less than 2 less than 4 less than 5 less than 6 is non decreasing. So we print that within two operations we are able to get the answer. How did we get uh, these two operations? Because we very well know that uh, 6, 4, 1, 2, 5. For uh, 6, 4, 1, 2, 5, this was the minimum element. Before this minimum element, uh, this went to the position on the right as the sorted format this also went to the position in the right in the sorted format so since this is already sorted we don't have to worry about it and the number of elements are the number of elements before the minimum element 
So that's it. And let's quickly understand the code. So what did we do? We have to find out what is the minimum number because in some cases we can say that uh, x, x, 1, x, x, 1, x, x can come, right? Here also one can come, here also one can come. So we just want to know the minimum number first, 2 or 3, any minimum number. Then we need to know the first occurrence of this number. Why are we doing first occurrence? Because even though if you take this one here, there is no chance that this one can come to his position. Why? Because even if we perform an operation with this one, it will automatically come to the start only. So it is getting blocked here. This one is getting blocked. So we get the minimum element, then we find the minimum index of this number, the index, the first index. And once we done, we just have to check whether the number from the minimum element to this is sorted or not. If it is sorted, you just print the index. If this is 0, 1, 2, you are printing 2. 2 means that there are two elements before me who are going to get, who are, uh, get who is a candidate for the operation to be performed so this will go somewhere here uh, like x means like some random number will go here and get sorted this also will go here and get sorted so before two there are two elements so you can directly print the index if it is not possible then you can simply print minus one so this is the code that is written so let me know in the comments if you have any doubts uh, thank you guys and see you in the next video